Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, I'm going to show you of how I usually get ready for work. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video, just like this one. So if you are ready, let's begin. So yes, this vlog is a get ready with me video wherein I'm going to show you guys the standard makeup look for 5J. I know I've done a couple of get ready with me video but I actually shot it last year so this is the updated version. And for us to start, let me just wear my crown. <laughs> crown talaga. <laughs> uh, my headband so that my hair won't go all over my face while I'm doing my makeup. There. Okay, so in order for us to start, we actually need to prepare our skin since we are putting a lot of products on it. So the first step is to use a toner. So I've already shared to you guys on my morning routine that my toner is this one, the Dickinson Switch Hazel. Just to give you an information guys, I'm actually using different toners. I'm using it alternately. Before, I was using the Kiehl's Calendula toner and and after that, I use the Cucumber Mario Badasco toner. And now, I'm already with my Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Among the three, my most favorite is the Kills, the Calendula, but it's way too expensive. Because yun yun natutunan ko, you really have to switch your toner. Your skin will get used to the product and it will not be as effective as it used to be. And we're good with our toner. Now, the next step is I do my kilay na agad. I do my kilay first before applying the sunscreen and the moisture. It's because the, the eyebrows gets easily erased if you put moisturizer and sunscreen first. So that's why I do my kilay first before putting those products. A lot of you are asking me of how I do my kilay. So today, I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process, guys. So the first thing is, I forgot to show you the product pala. So what I'm using for the eyebrows is this designing eyebrow pencil from the face shop. So the first step for you to do your kilay is I always do the lower part first. And I don't usually put products in this part. It's because ayoko magkaroon ng kwadradong kilay. We don't want that. I want to have a fading effect on this part. So that's why I don't put a product on it. And after the lower part, it's let's proceed on the upper part of your kilay. Okay, honestly speaking guys, I really don't have any eyebrows or I do have eyebrow hairs. It's just that dito lang siya, hanggang dito lang siya. The rest is wala na siya. That's why I had my eyebrows done. Um, I had it microbladed. I know microshaded is the term. Microshading. But I'm not really happy with how it was drawn. So that's why nagkikilay pa rin ako. But the best part about it is you'll get to easily draw your kilay. So you just have to fill in after the things that you need to fill in. And then on this part is what I normally do is I use now the spoolie or the brush in order to blend it. So that you'll get to have a fading effect on your keylight. So there! We're done with our first keylight. So can you see the difference guys? Tadang and tadang. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next, uh, to the second one. So same step. Let's do the lower part first. A lot of you might ask me kung saan ko pinagawa yung kilay ko. I had it done in Manila. I forgot the name. Pero parang freelance ano lang siya, artist. Nag one year na din tong kilay ko guys. Was it painful? I actually have high tolerance with pain. And that's it. I'm good with my kilay. So right after my kilay, I put on the sunscreen. So the sunscreen that I'm using is this Innisfree Long Lasting Sunscreen. So this sunscreen, I got it from Singapore because it was on sale when I got there. But you can actually check any Innisfree store. Siguro so, the only NS free store na nag open dito sa Pinas is sa Manila lang sa SM Moa. But you may actually get it also in Beauty Manila, beautymnl.com. You might wanna visit that. Let's not forget our.
I just really need to be careful na hindi siya pumunta sa kilay ko. Ay, oh my god! I forgot! There's another step pala for my kilay. Wait, I'll do it after this. Yung na nakakalimutan ko, this vlog turned out to be not as organized as I want it to be. <laughs> May nakakalimutan ako. Okay, we're done with the sunscreen, but I forgot. After the eyebrow pencil is I'm using this eyebrow gel from Sunny's Face. Okay, I'm using this one just to let the product stay the whole day. Dito ka lang siya nilalagay. I'm not putting any eyebrow gel here kasi kakapal siya. And let's do the other side. By the way, guys, pa kamag tano kayo, what's the difference between microblading and microshading? So basically, for the microblading, they will copy the strand of your hair. Parang ganun siya. Like, they will copy the strand of your hair, but for the microshading, it's more on shading. Like, parang tattoo type talaga siya. After the sunscreen, it's time to apply moisturizer. So before, the moisturizer that I'm using is this Kills. Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel. Unfortunately, na ubus na siya, and since this is kind of pricey, that's why, as an alternative, I am using this moisturizer, Celetec. So for my moisturizer, since I have an oily skin, I always go to moisturizers that are the gel type. Is I'm using this primer from Maybelline. This is a mattifying primer. Preparing our skin, let's proceed to the makeup proper. So it's time to apply this BB cream from Misha. The shade is number 23. I don't like to use foundation on a daily basis. Mas gusto ko yung BB cream because it has anti-aging formula. So for my sponge, I got this from BYS. Cream, it's time to use a powder. So for my powder is I'm using this Maybelline New York. I love this one. It's because it's so small and perfect for oily skin like me. It will give you that matte look. We're done with the powder. The next step is our eye makeup. So for the eye makeup, what I usually do is using the same powder. Naga apply muna ako sa mata ko. powder is I'm using this ink pocket shadow palette from Peripera. Merong isa na wala. This is the glitter actually or for the shimmer. Pero natanggal sa hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero well I don't normally use it din naman so that's fine. So for my eyeshadow I'm using this shade. I'm really bad at eye makeup guys. I'm actually still trying to learn how to do the eye makeup. I'm only using my hand. And then right after is, I'm using this one. So let's do the other eye. After that is, I'm actually using also the same shade. This one, I put it under my eye. Para mas gumising yung mata. Gumising talaga. <laughs> Good with the eyeshadow. Next step is the wing eyeliner. So I'm using this Drawing Show eyeliner from Etude House. So the pencil, it looks like this. 
So the wing eyeliner is definitely important guys. This is part of our grooming standard. You will get a disciplinary action on your grooming if you forgot to put your wing eyeliner. Let's do this now. I love this drawing pencil from Etude House because it's so easy to use guys. We're good with this eye. Let's do the other eye. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. Breathe in, breathe out, Jen. Oh my god. We're done with our wingtip eyeliner. Now it's time to do our lashes. Let me just curl my lashes first. I don't have much lashes actually, guys. Pero ita try ko parin siya i curl. For my mascara, what I'm using is this Hyper Curl Volume Mascara from Maybelline. Let's apply. difference guys <laughs> please say yes please say yes so that my effort won't go to waste <laughs> okay let's do the other eye we're done with our eye makeup now let's proceed to the blush so for my blush on what I'm using is this um tint from KGM cosmetics the shade is Bittersweet Magenta. This one, I got it for 150 pesos from Subo Mercado. I think madami nagbebenta nito online, guys. At madami din nagbebenta sa bazaar. Mostly sa bazaar ko siya nabibili. Pero dahil sa nag, nag Cebu base na ako, pumunta ako sa Subo Mercado. And I just blend it using this brush. Kulay na tayo, guys! <laughs> Next step is, we're done with the blush on. Next step is our lips. So yun, hindi ako nagkukuntor and all. Kasi hindi ko alam kung paano. And it's still accepted, actually, guys. For the lipstick, we need to have a nude lipstick. So for my lipstick, I'm using this Clay Crush from Maybelline still. And let's do the lips. That's my makeup. That's how I usually get ready for work. And that's it, guys. I hope you find this vlog helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Until our next takeoff. Bye!